Oh, why do lava lamps make me happy? They are alive without being alive. They, they're beautiful. They, it's just like life. Things come up and they come down. Um, it gets hard, it gets soft. It, it's got it all in one beautiful curvy shaped bottle. Hi, I'm Wayne Bradley Hicks and I collect lava lamps. Right now roughly I have about 135 different lava lamps in my collection. This is a beautiful example of a squiggle lamp. Um, it did these gold squiggles on like a white or black uh, base and top. This shape they call the aristocrat design. Um, wider at the base and, uh, and, and kind of hourglasses in. It's wider than the standards. Holds a 52 ounce bottle. This one's super clear. Um, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The lava lamp history goes back to the mid 60s. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Crestworth over in England came up with the concept. Uh, experimenting with different liquids and waxes. Uh, brought his concept over to the World's Fair and a couple of gentlemen from Chicago decided to purchase the rights to make lava lamps in the United States under the Lava Light Corporation. So the ones up on top of the curio cabinet, we have a couple of Carlisles. They're 32 ounce bottles, screw tops as well from the 70s. Uh, they got the pinholes in the base, uh, which gives it a nice starlight effect. The next ones on the insides are the Aladdin lamp and the Saturn. Uh, both rare designs, just different shape bases. The Saturn kind of looks like a UFO, and the Aladdin's lamp has a spout and a handle, so it looks like a genie lamp. Getting into collecting brought me back to being a kid and watching the lava melt and uh, as life goes on we face a lot of difficult things as adults and being more fluid like the lava lamp seems to be a very easy way to think about life. I'd have to say the funniest fact about lava lamps is that they add propylene glycol to the water which is the same thing that they put in antifreeze and everybody's favorite cinnamon whiskey fireball. <laughs> So think about that before you take your next sip. This is roaming interview. Roaming interview. What are we doing down here? So this is a little bit of the overstock. Just a bunch of bottles. Um, I got some different color cartridges to try to play with the different colors uh, of the liquids. So as an example, like I have this one. It's got a Fago bottle top which is kind of strange, but it was probably something more like this at one point in time, but I got left out in the sun and all the color faded away, so I'm going to slowly open the bottle top and try to play with the different colors and see if I can change the color in it. Just like your wizard going back to those Carlisles like we talked about upstairs um, you have your sun and your stars and moon shapes all around here and up and down here where the light comes through and they did that in silver or black That uh, it's kind of special to me. And then this is kind of interesting. It's a bit newer, but uh, it's got this silver metallic bits in the lava. So when it flows, it kind of has this swirl to the the blobs like uh, Jupiter's you know are, 
uh, Eye of Jupiter and stuff like that. What's uh, what's behind this curtain? Well, behind the curtain is uh, just a little area where I've been working on my own formula for custom lava lamps and uh, messing around with my own different liquids and, and uh, chemicals and materials. Some of them are rather difficult to come by. What kind of materials are you having trouble finding? It sounds like the tea's done. Uh, I've been working on a really special recipe, my own blend of different herbs, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. Here's the special tea. You should have a sip. This one is from the Psychedelic Swirl Collection. Uh, they did four different colors, uh, red, green, blue, and purple. And the purple one's my favorite. Uh, the red was the hardest for me to find, but I, I was able to get all four to add and complete do you, do you the Psychedelic that? Swirl Collection. You're what? Did, is, there a, is there a phone ringing? Is there, is there a phone ringing? I don't hear a phone ringing. You don't hear that? There's... I definitely hear a phone ringing. You don't hear that? So as I was saying, uh, yeah, working on my own formula. It's uh, like the lab behind the curtain, um, messing with different additives to the liquids. Um, it's been a difficult process, trial and error, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, different chemicals that you can buy, others that you have to go out and find yourself. Um, I actually think that you guys might be able to help me out with the perfect ingredient. Oh, the tea, don't worry about it. 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 Hello? 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 It's for you. It's for you. For me? Is there a, a lamp that eludes you, like one that you want? Like you have one that is kind of like the one you've never been able to find? Mm. Not that I've gone after yet. No, I just kind of let them come to me. I don't, I don't really seek out a specific one because if I'm supposed to have it, I'm supposed to have it. And if I need it. That's how all of them have come, come here. formula back then was, you know, it's never been 
replicated. They, they just don't use the same stuff anymore. large scope of let's get as many as I can to 